hey guys and girls welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day how you guys and girls doing hope you're doing great uh please check out the description box all the nice links also drop a like subscribe if you like the content so what were we doing in the last video i think we we're working with the in file uh trying to get all of these uh all of these things yeah from the file right so to do that then we need to kind of make a new tile here um since everything should be null right here okay we do clear it and we set everything to null hmm oh, wait how do we never mind never mind never mind you know what you know what you know what we got to do in clear i think we have to we have to actually actually uh, totally clear this whole thing so we deleted all of those then we're probably gonna have to do this map dot clear pretty sure um, let's see this map clear all right we gotta just clear that whole thing out and that should clear the one inside as well hopefully it should clear the one inside um let's see this map at position x at position y dot clear all right then we gotta do this at the ends of these whoops because we want the above shit to happen first so let's do that that clear and we delete all of those hopefully hopefully this should be okay and then we don't have to do anything else then we can do the the pushback and shit uh, so let's just see here std c out this map dot gets no size size just to see what happens you know could be a good thing good could be a really good thing and then we'll keep working on the loading let me just see what happens here so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and just see what the hell happened here expected a, a oh shit sorry about that okay there we go all right so what should happen is it should print out the size of it so i'm just gonna try this using one go in here and just quit it Oh wait, 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 where is uh uh project no build uh where is it where is it where is it uh pa 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 project where the hell is that where is that run without debugging bullshit? I don't remember that. Uh maybe I'm blind. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead into source files, main, and I'm just going to set a system pause in here. There you go. I'll make this video a little longer just because, you know, I'm, I'm fumbling around here in the beginning. So thanks for waiting around with me. So I'll just quit ending application. Nothing really happened there for some reason. Let's just go ahead into editor, add some shit, and then quit and then zero okay size zero that is good size zero is good that means that it did delete everything and there is no no size for it anymore so there we go we're pretty we're good that's exactly what we wanted actually we want the clear to be be zero uh, so i'm just going to remove that stdc out bullshit right here okay so we're just going to remove that we can keep it and just comment it out actually if we want to if we want to use that later um <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so where are we here we go okay all right so there we go finally let's go am i recording yeah um now we need a new tile so i'm just going to go ahead and open up tile i think we just need tile dot cpp or we can do h as well let's just see what happens i'm just going to put it like that I'm going to look at the constructor. So X and Y, that's the positioning, flow X and Y. So we have the 
grid positions. So I'm just going to say x multiplied by, uh, where is my multiplication? There you go, x multiplied by um, grid size f. All right, and that's going to be the position. And then y multiplied by grid size uh, f is going to be the the thing, the thing in the jig. And this is the grid size we got from from here, so we shouldn't have any problems. So once you do that, we're going to do grid size f. All right. Uh, la 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 tile. Wait, let me see. Is this actually the positions? Because that's kind of dumb, actually. Let's just look at that. Where is it? God damn it! Right here. Okay. So it sets the position. No, this is the tile map. Shit. Okay, here. So it sets the position to x and y. So this should actually. Ah oh man, this should actually be grid position, and then we multiply it with. Uh, we multiply it with uh, the thing here. Actually, so it should actually be like this. Multiplied by grid size f. Multiplied by grid size f. All right. And this is the g grid position x and y. So probably we should have that as unsigned. Now, this is going to change up a whole lot of things. But we need to do this now on, uh, before before we do anything else. So just change those to unsigned, keep that there. Uh, we'll cast this to a float. We don't really need a cast actually, you know, but we can do it. We don't really need it, but we'll do it because it looks nice and it's good. Guarantees a cast here. Um, that is already a float. We could just static cast the unsigned part and just multiply that with a float. So there you go. Okay, nothing else really uses that, so we're, we're good to go, and that will just be saved in there, so that's not a big deal. Uh, and then the tile.h, I'm just going to copy these. Okay, I'm just going to put it right here. Grid x and grid y, just to make it really, really, really clear what's going on, because it's really easy to get mixed up with what's going on, right? Just make sure you do that before before anything. So once you do that, you're good. Uh, we'll go to tile. Tile map again. And then we can just, actually, we could just remove that from here. Uh, and then depending on how it saves it as well, it doesn't matter. We'll look into that just in a minute. Um, we'll just say grid X and grid just give it X and Y. There we go. Okay, and the grid size is perfect. Okay, there you go. Then we need the texture rectangle. Texture, texture rectangle. Uh, texture and texture rectangle. Texture file. We need to load the texture before. Okay, so this tile sheet. This tile sheet. And then this. No, sf int rect uh, trx try and then grid size u grid size grid size. Okay. And grid size is a this and we'll use actually we'll use the this you as well i don't know if you're watching uh, one of you asked me why i use this um you should look at the c plus plus tutorials but i'll tell you that this is just a this is this thing right here is just a pointer to the class itself so it helps me see what is part of the class and what is not what is a local variable you don't need to use this the computer can kind of figure things out by itself but I use it for visibility sake. And if I have the same name for a local variable as well as a class variable, using this will guarantee that I use the class's own variable with this name. Okay. If I don't use this and there's a local variable in here with the same name, uh, it will use the closest one. It will use the local one. So make sure you use this one required. 
Uh, anyway, anyway, let's keep going. So that was the grid says that was the texture wrecked and then bool collision and type. So collision, for example, here type if well no never mind never mind no don't listen to me i was thinking of i was thinking this was in in tile but it's not anyway uh we're good so there you go there you go now we created a new tile at that position and assuming we got everything in here now this will crash and burn because we have i think because we have a last space character for the loading but we'll we'll see we'll see about that later doesn't really matter now we just need to see what we're saving so if we go up to save we're putting those out we're getting it as string so let's just go to tile get a string let's see what happens so it's putting out the texture rec the type and the collision good now we need to open editor state both the editor states i'll close main again gui close that as well um, i'm going to go in here i'm going to see how i add tiles to my map and it's tile map, that's fine. Editor state, update, update, editor input. Okay, so where we're adding a tile, X and Y. So tile map, go back to tile map. Sorry, I'm going back and forth here. I'm trying to find the correct functions, add tile. So we're getting the X and Y in here. Okay, and now it's multiplying it with the grid size, but we don't need to do that anymore since we're already putting that grid size F in here. So it doesn't really matter. We're just going to do that and uh, we'll be happy we'll be happy as hell because because we don't need to use that grid grid thing anymore or the multiplication it does that internally there you go there you go there you go there you go so everything should be fine now if we just run this again i should remove that pause from main I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, let me just see how this looks. So, editor. I placed some tiles in here. I placed some other tiles. I placed all different types of tiles. Like that. And then I just say save. Quit. Quit. Now, it's going to wait for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the system pause. I'll keep it. I'll comment it out in case we need that later. Close those. Now, let's go to our file. Let's see what the hell happened open that shit and here we go we got uh, 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 all the beautiful things so here it's saying what different uh, positions they're at I guess and then the texture rectangles and looking good looking nice looking real nice um, this is the first one is that 4 8 yeah okay so it didn't save all the null pointer ones obviously because we don't want that wherever we don't have a tile it shouldn't save that tile so there you go now shortening this up would be the best thing because getting one thing at a time i think getting a line is better than getting one thing at a time we want to get a whole line and then we want to kind of operate on that using a string stream that is the best way to do it uh, so we're going to do that later, but this is just to test things out. And that's most for the loading. So the line thing is better. It's faster. Um, because it's internal. It's not It's not doing it with the file, basically, right? I, I'm pretty sure it is. String stream is faster. So what we're going to do later on in the load, probably in the coming files, we're just going to... We're going to get the whole thing as a line. I'm pretty sure into a string and then we're just gonna operate on that string uh, most probably I think that's the best way to do it but the string could be too big and then you'll have a crash so that could be that as well but we'll see we'll see how we'll see how we'll do it we'll see doesn't really matter um, but there you go let's try out the loading let's go into editor state and let us add a button to the pause menu here so save, I'm pretty much going to have a load in front of save. So maybe at 300 or 200 maybe. No, 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 400, 400. I don't know how, I don't remember how big they were. I think they were 65 in height. So, so I'll just call it load. Load will be the map. And then we're going to go down to update the buttons, the buttons. Where are you at, man? Come on. 
right here. Okay. If load. All right. If P menu is button pressed. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, update pause menu. Where does it do that? Okay. If it's pause, it's updating. Okay. If. Uh, load what's load gonna do load from file and then we'll just give it that name as well load and how does this work file name okay so it opens the file and it tries to load that shit in and then let's run this it's probably gonna crash so we're gonna keep working on this in the next video that's my plan whoa dude are you serious it fucking worked dude are you serious, mate? I thought it was gonna crash and shit. Holy shit, I thought it was gonna crash. What happens if we just save it totally empty like this? Holy shit, I thought it was gonna crash. Are you serious? Oh, dude, we're so cool. We're so good at this. Where is it? God damn it. SFML. Oh my god, congratulations, everybody. God damn. Look at that. Empty bullshit. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm just close that quit no i shouldn't have quit let's run this again let's run this again let's try this uh, i'm just gonna run this and i'm gonna go into editor and i'll make a little i'll make a little uh this is supposed to be a heart it looks like a deke i'm sorry uh but okay we'll make a little heart half heart okay some like this no 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 some like that it's supposed to be a heart okay it doesn't really matter um, I can't draw here. Yes, I can. Ha! See? Because we made that shit. Okay, this looks cool. Whatever. We'll just do this. We'll say it's really big. And then we'll add some random shit uh, down here. Some like this. Some kind of octopus thing. I don't know what the hell that is. And then we'll save this. And then we'll load it. And we'll save it. And we'll load it. And we'll save it. And we'll load it. And save it. Okay. And go back to editor and we'll load it and it's there boom easy peasy very quick lemon squeezy no problems thank you guys and girls for the patience there you go we made the loading kind of complete now we'll optimize it as we make bigger maps it's really easy to optimize and add new things to it so basically if you want to add new things to it first thing you got to do is you got to go to this list here and then you gotta uh then you gotta kind of see what you already have okay uh and then you're going to yeah then you're gonna just change this first change the saving whatever you're saving in here probably you want to change something in the get to, get a string here if you add new things to tile and then you're going to go in here and you're going to change how it loads it okay so the structure of the whole thing now an easy way to do it is just to kind of divide all of this into pieces like this wait z should be in here as well most probably right no it doesn't actually choose that z is here so x y okay never mind and then you do that and then maybe collision and type so now you can really see what you're loading and what is in what order right and the same thing for saving you probably want to do out file all that shit and then this map get as string and then the end We'll keep that for now. It seems to be working. It doesn't really matter. So we'll keep that for now. Just remember, if you're mixing these with get line or these with uh, get line in file uh, in input stream operator and get line, you're going to have the same problem as C in and get line. So uh, you want to ignore and remove all white spaces from the stream before you keep going. So if you find any, if anything funny is happening, you're using get line and these in combination, you want to use that ignore statement thingy i got a bunch of tutorials on that but uh we'll probably have to use it in this series as well so it's all good but there you go i don't know what i'm going to do in the next video but we'll probably keep working on the tile map probably try to add some colliding thingies so you can you can change shit around uh, some text in the editor so we can see uh, if we're laying down colliding objects or not and all that stuff so we'll we'll look into that uh, so there you go guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope it was cool um, Keep working hard and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye. Bye